Hey, it's Brett with the Only No Case Show. We're going to do something a little bit different today. You want to know why? Because it's Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. I know it's got to be yours as well. I love everything about it. The music, the lights, the cinnamon, the sugar, the, well, sometimes the snow. Never the snow. What am I talking about? But more importantly, the stories. A Christmas Carol, the Grinch, Snoopy, Peanuts, whatever you call it. But to me, the all-time classic Christmas tale is Twas the Night Before Christmas. So, what does that mean? It means sit back, relax, and enjoy while the Only an OK Show presents Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came. He whistled and shouted, and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all! As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house, top the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his back. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he had tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave him to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod of the chimney he rose, he sprang to his sleigh to his team and gave a whistle, and away they flew like down of a thistle. But I heard him explain her he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Well, there you have it. Twas the night before Christmas. A little gift from us at the Only OK Show to you, our fans and listeners. But more importantly, from us, our families, to your family, wherever you are around the world, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you on the road. Peace.